ready for some super tips. I'm Buck August, a dietitian with Inlow Medical Center, and today I'm here with a few tips on Halloween candy. Halloween candy can be a tricky thing. Some parents think their kids shouldn't eat any candy because it's, it's bad, it's full of sugar, it's going to rot their teeth. Other parents think kids should be able to go to town and eat as much as they want. I grew up eating a lot of candy, and I would eat until I got sick. That's not so good, but an important thing in learning about candy or other foods is learning to listen to and trust your body. After eating and getting sick a lot of different times growing up, I realized that didn't feel so good, and now I don't really do that anymore. I eat a lot less candy than I used to. Giving our kids the opportunity to learn how much they can eat that makes them feel good and sometimes making mistakes and eating too much and feeling bad can be an important, although scary for parents, part of learning and growing. There are a couple different ways of approaching Halloween candy. Some people, you know, let the kids gather up the candy they get on Halloween, sort through it, trade it with their siblings. Maybe the parents get to bargain for a few things they like, let the kids eat as much as they want on Halloween. And then they'll take the bowl or bowls and put them away so they're out of sight and then bring them out at snack time and let the kids pick a few each day until they run out of candy. And that can be a fine way to go. Susie Lowry Hall also told me about the candy fairy, which can be a fun alternative. You kind of do the same thing on, on Halloween. You, you get out your candy, let the kids sort through it and do all that. And then at the end of the night, you say, now you have the opportunity to leave your candy for the candy fairy, who's gonna come and take the candy and leave you a prize. And so that could be a present, or you could go kind of like the tooth fairy, leave some cash. And that way the kids, again, get to enjoy some candy on Halloween, and then the, can the rest of the candy's gone, so they're not gonna be eating it for uh, weeks or months on end, depending on how big their stash is. Whichever way you go, I hope you and your family have a safe, healthy, and happy Halloween this year. At Inlow Medical Center, your health is our top priority. We're here for you. Let's all stay healthy at home together.